Hello, everyone. An international team of astronomers, including scientists from the Harvard-Smithsonian Astrophysics Center, has discovered the most distant galaxy ever discovered, 13.5 billion light years from Earth. However, scientists have a doubt about this galaxy. Let's take a closer look at this discovery. For astronomers, discovering the first generation of stars and galaxies in the universe has been a holy grail in astronomy. But the problem is that the lights of these first generation galaxies are very dim and largely redshift. This makes it increasingly difficult for us to discover them. Until 2022, the farthest known galaxy was James 11, located in the constellation of the Big Bear. The galaxy, which is thought to exist only 400 million years after the Big Bang, is 32 billion light years away from us and has been redshifted significantly. But now, astronomers have discovered a new galaxy 100 million light years away. They observed the most distant galaxy ever, with data from the telescopes at around 1200 hours. This ancient camel in the constellation of Sextons was named odd by scientists. With the information we have, we can say that Dunn is a mystery in itself. First, the visible red color of the galaxy is due to a redshift phenomenon. This phenomenon is the name given to the extension of the wavelength of light scattered from stars, galaxies, or supernovas in space until it reaches us. And indirectly, the shift of light to wavelengths corresponding to red color. Likewise, if the wavelength of light is shortened, it is called blue shift. According to Hubble's law, the further away a galaxy is in deep space, the faster it moves away. The redshift phenomenon allows astronomers to determine how far the galaxy is from us. The light journey to be done is 13.5 billion light years. However, if we take into account the expansion of the universe, the appropriate distance is 33.4 billion light years. In short, exploring this far-flung red galaxy was no easy task. Astronomers used the Spider Space Telescope, Subaru Telescope, UK Infrared Telescope, and Vista Telescopes to explore high dot and analyze nearly 1,200 hours of data. The researchers, who had to find Dunn among more than 700,000 objects, made it as difficult as trying to figure out the nationality of the ship coming from afar on a foggy day. They used the phrase, however, when it was calculated that the new stars were more than expected, scientists doubted what the discovered object was and started to produce theories. Answering questions about the nature of an entity this far away can be difficult, said astrophysicist Fabio Pucucci of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, who evaluated the galaxy structure, commented as, As a result of the researches, scientists came up with two theories about what this ancient galaxy could be. The Dunn Galaxy was either a starburst galaxy or a mighty quasar. A starburst galaxy consists of cold gas reserves formed in giant molecular clouds in the galaxies, and an extremely high rate of star formation is observed within them. Star formation rate is an important parameter in galactic and extragalactic astronomy. Starburst is a stage in the evolution of a galaxy that occurs for different reasons. Even galactic interactions can lead to a starburst, as in the antenna galaxy. These two galaxies have been merging for the last 100 million years, and their star formation rates have increased dramatically due to this interaction. In this image, the blue regions represent high star forming activity, stating that the ultraviolet waves emitted from the galaxy are extremely bright. Scientists stated that so much light could be produced by more than 100 stars per year, and this figure is 10 times more than expected for a galaxy in the early stages of the universe. But there is an explanation for this. Petrucci noted that this may be due to the fact that the first stars formed in the universe were larger, brighter, and hotter than modern stars. The first generation stars that formed were significantly hotter and brighter than modern stars. If that's the case, we may be looking at light from so-called population, I, I, I stars that contain little or no elements other than hydrogen and helium. The second possibility for Dunn is that this light was emitted by a mighty quasar. Quasars are the most powerful objects in deep space and contain a high-mass black hole feasting on the material surrounding the core. 
Gas in the disk falling towards the black hole heats up due to friction and releases energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation. The most powerful quasars can be thousands of times brighter than a galaxy like the Milky Way. Dunn's brightness and star formation rate were quite surprising. This meant that the universe contained its first stars. On the other hand, this object could be a black hole. And if this object is indeed a black hole, it will be the most massive and closest in age to the Big Bang ever discovered. Researchers are considering using the James Webb Space Telescope to peer into the distant universe, and they hope future observations will shed light on the nature of this mysterious planet. That's all from us for today. What are your thoughts on this discovered galaxy? Please share with us in the comments section. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you later.